Hey guys, it's Fun for Chew here, and I'm here with a video tutorial on creating motion graphics with 2010 Microsoft PowerPoint. Now this tutorial only works with the 2010 edition or newer, so let's get right to it. Now first, you want to open up Microsoft PowerPoint and as you can see the default layout will be a 4 to 3 ratio so we want to change that to a 16 to 9 ratio so it takes up the full screen on any modern monitors so you hit the design tab you go to page setup you hit the down tab and click on the on screen 16 to 19 and hit OK and as you can see it made the slide much wider now we won't be working with any text but this tutorial will work with text and pictures so let's delete those text boxes. As you can see Microsoft gives you a standard arrays of backgrounds but for this tutorial we'll just keep it simple and right click and hit format background and pick a solid fill color. I picked gray and you hit apply all if you have multiple slides then hit close. Now you can work with transition and animations like you would with any other PowerPoint. You can insert your pictures but for this tutorial we'll just keep with simple shapes. So I am holding down shift and dragging the rectangle tool to create a perfect square and I did the same for the circle. If you select any of the shapes, you'll see that the animation tab lights up and gives you the option. But let's align this first. Now let's select these shapes and align it to the page. So if you select them, go to a format tab, click the align button and you can align it. So I am grouping these shapes together by holding down Control G for Windows. and aligned it to the center and middle. The alignment tool is pretty simple. It's not as good as the Adobe Align tool in Illustrator. You can work with a multitude of animations that Microsoft gives you by hitting the uh, animation window down. So let's open up the animation panel. This is where all your added animation will go and you'll see um, how long they are and when they will be activated. So I hit the line animation and as you can see it popped up in the in my animation panel and let's actually add a different animation for the circle so let's make that into maybe a fade in And if you hit play, you'll see that the square goes down and then the circle will fade in. Or let's have the circle fade in and drop down with the rectangle too. So you go to the add animation, scroll down, hit the line button or the line animation. And as you can see, all these animations are activated by clicking of the mouse. So you want to change that by selecting the animation right clicking and going down to start with previous okay so let's adjust the timing of the animation to do that you can either click and drag in the animation panel or go to the duration and delay box in the right hand corner in the delay box you can adjust when you want your animations to start and in the duration box you can adjust the speed of how fast and or how slow you want your animation to be. So let's hit play. Now let's add another animation to the rectangle. So you hit the add animation and we're going to add another line animation and we're going to right click and have it start with previous and adjust it and move it to the other rectangle animation just to stay organized. And we'll have that animation move left this time.
and by clicking on the red arrow, you can adjust the distance of how far that rectangle moves, or you can have it move to any other direction. In this case, we're just going to keep it to the left. Now you can see that it only moved left, it didn't move down. So we need to position the left animation to the end of the down animation. And if you hit play, that rectangle moved too fast, so let's increase the duration of it. And we'll delay the left animation after the down animation finishes. And if you hit play, this is what you'll get. Now once you're happy with your animation, we need to export it into a video. To do that, you go to File, Save and Send, and click on Create a Video. You have the option to export it as a HD video in 720p. Unfortunately, there is no full HD option. On the seconds to spend on each slide, that will adjust the timing on each slide. So if you have more and longer animation, you'll probably want to spend a longer time on them. In this case, we only need 5 seconds. Now hit create a video, and I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Your video is going to be saved as a window media video, and that's not the best format to save it as, so what you'll need next is a video converter. I like to use micro video converter and I'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description for you guys to download. Now as it is exported, let me show you my other motion graphic. Here is the intro and you can see in the animation panel there's a lot of delays and duration adjustments to get the effect that I wanted to get. So you just have to play around with it. It's not going to be like After Effects, but it gets the job done and it's a pretty useful tool. If you guys have any questions or comment, be sure to leave a comment down below. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't. And for more fun videos, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and most of all, subscribe to Fun for True. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.